Lines of symmetry in polygons. Symmetrical shapes can have many types of lines of symmetry. Let's take a look at the following polygons and try to find all the lines of symmetry in these polygons. The first one is a square. As we learned before, squares have four lines of symmetry. One vertical, one horizontal, and the other two are diagonal lines of symmetry. Similarly, a regular hexagon has six lines of symmetry, one vertical, one horizontal, and four diagonal lines of symmetry. What about other polygons? Let's look at this rectangle. As you can see, it is symmetrical because we can fold it into two identical halves across this vertical line of symmetry. Also, it has a horizontal line of symmetry. But, does it have any diagonal lines of symmetry? Let's check it out. If we split the rectangle across this diagonal line, the resulting two parts are not identical. What if we try the other side? Again, we have mismatched parts. So even though we might guess that a rectangle has diagonal lines of symmetry, it actually doesn't have any. What about this triangle? It's called an isosceles triangle, and it has only one line of symmetry, which is a vertical line. This polygon is symmetrical across this horizontal line of symmetry. Can you find any other lines of symmetry? No. As you can see, we can't divide it or fold it across any other lines. What about this rhombus? Is it symmetrical? If we try to divide it horizontally like this, we don't get two identical parts. And the same thing goes if we try vertically. What if we try to split it across diagonal lines like this? The resulting parts are actually identical. Also, we can do the same across this diagonal line. So, a rhombus has two diagonal lines of symmetry. To summarize, let us have another look at the polygons and the lines of symmetry in each of them. In this lesson, you learned how to identify lines of symmetry in polygons.